birthday's in January and every year I always go to my, he is the pediatrician for my yearly checkup. I had just turned 18 um, and I was still seeing them, of course, because I like pediatrician. <laughs> and, um, I just have one lymph node on my uh, the right side of my neck. Never bothered me. I felt totally fine. I wasn't sick or anything like that. And so for this just yearly checkup, they noticed it and they were like a little funky. They, I had an ultrasound schedule to kind of look at just a little bit more about this lymph node. And that came back a little bit funky as well. So then they scheduled a CT for me. That was also funky. And finally, they referred me to an oncologist. And I remember my mom and I sitting in the office and they're like, what are we doing here? <laughs> when we got the reading from like my CT and ultrasound back that they were like, oh, this could be like leukemia or lymphoma. I was like, I feel fine. I've been fine. I've been healthy. Like there's nothing wrong. Like I... I thought they were wrong, honestly, um, until that biopsy came back. Definitely the people. Um, it was great getting to know like other patients that were in my situation or that had been in my situation. Um, and I think it was also helpful for my parents to finally meet other parents in that situation too. Um, so like the community that's just surrounded by the Ullman house is incredible. And don't get me wrong, there are a thousand things to do in the house also, which is great. All the games and puzzles. I think my mom probably finished a puzzle a week. And then when I got there, we would finish them like in a couple of days. <laughs> um, it was great. We would sit in the living room all the time just doing the puzzle and both of us would get hooked in and stay up until like 10 or 11, just sitting there doing this puzzle that would frustrate us both, but we couldn't step away. <laughs> One thing that really kind of stuck out while I was going through treatment is there were days where I would probably sleep for like 16 hours. Like I felt like crap. I didn't want to feel like crap. So I would just go to sleep <laughs> if I could at least. Um, and I wouldn't move off my bed all day. I wouldn't really eat that that much. It was, I had just like had a couple of days like that during my like first round of treatment. And then once I got past that, it would be like four days. I was pretty down. Um, and then I would recover and I would have an off week. And on that off week, I would say yes to like anything and everything. If I, my friends invited me over for a random movie night, yes, I'm there. I'll come. Like, even though that random movie night might just be like some random movie night, I'm like, oh my gosh, I get to hang out with my friends. Like, I am starting to realize that I took certain things for granted that I try to no longer do anymore because you don't realize how much you'll miss it once it's taken away. So I still do that. Like if someone texts me like, Hey, do you want to go grab coffee? Do you want to go for a run? Do you want to do this? You want I just like say yes to everything. I guess like my other thing would be to like, don't be afraid to ask for help. I'm really bad at it. I, I like to think that I can do everything myself. I'm like, oh, I can do it myself. Something comes up. I can do it myself. And I hated asking for help, but there were times where like, I would just be, I, I would need help. I couldn't do things myself. One thing that I would tell patients is like, find your people. Um, I remember when I met my first, like I say my cancer friends, uh, when I met my first cancer friend, I have never enjoyed a conversation because they just get it. like. I didn't even go to like a support group or anything like that, which I probably should have, but oh well. Um, that's not even how I met them. I met them through like a friend of a friend that knew someone and then like connected us and it was great. And now I've like expanded my cancer friends network and um, I they have like become my best friends. So like being able to find your people and find others who just get it was huge for me.